I'm going to teach you how to make a simple dinner entree for your family. It's called three ingredient meatloaf. Now, before we get started, you have to gather all of the things that you're going to use to make the meatloaf. That begins with the pans and the, the cooking utensils. You'll need a medium to large bowl, a bread pan, cooking spray, and if you're not going to use your hands to mix the meatloaf, you're going to need a spoon or something to mix the meatloaf with. Now that we've gathered all that, we need to gather our ingredients together. Your ingredients include one box of stovetop stuffing, milk, oh I forgot to tell you, you'll need a liquid measuring cup, a half a cup of li for a liquid measuring cup, and one and a half to two pounds of ground beef. Now that we have all that, we have to do a couple things before we put the ingredients into the bowl. First, we have to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Now, we have to take our bread pan and we're going to spray it with the cooking spray. And we're going to set this aside for a little while. Now we can start putting our ingredients into the bowl. Um, I should tell you, I use my hands to mix meatloaf. So I'm putting on gloves. I suppose you don't have to put on gloves if you're at home. So if you're gonna and if you're gonna use a spoon to mix your meatloaf with. Okay, so here we go. When you mix your when you use your hands to mix, you have to put the ingredients in the bowl in this order. First, you're gonna put your stovetop stuffing in the bowl. So I'm gonna get that out. And open it up. I like to use scissors to cut it. Pour it in the bowl. Next, you're going to put your milk in. I'm going to measure a half of a cup of milk. And normally I would come down here and look to see if it's a half a cup, but my measuring cup is a stand-up measuring cup, so I don't have to do that right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna pour that in. And now I'm gonna put my ground beef in the bowl. And it's still a little frozen, but that's okay. <laughs> So after we get the ground beef, I'm going to take some of this out just to show you what to do. Okay, after we get the ground beef in, we're going to mix all the ingredients together. Really good. I find it easier to do this with my hands. So let's get this all done. Okay. Go back and forth. Some of you have made bread in uh, fax class. It's kind of the same concept. You're just getting everything together with your hands. Okay, once it's all together, you should have a big loaf of meat like this. You're going to take your pan 
and put the meat in the pan and get it all nice and Ooh. I'm trying to keep these gloves on. <laughs> Go ahead, pack it down in there. Okay, got it in the pan. Once the oven is preheated to 350 degrees, you're gonna put the pan in the oven and set a timer for 60 seconds. Let's do that. Start. When the timer goes off, I'm gonna take the meatloaf out of the oven and I will have made a three ingredient meatloaf. And you will have two if you do it. <laughs> okay, so um, it was, I enjoyed doing this and I hope that you'll try this and practice it at home for your family. Thank you.